The Aztecs, a civilization that's been under the radar for what seems like an eternity, only revealing itself amongst the talks and discussions of high-level players, can we unearth their strategy and bring them to the forefront? Let's find out. Hey YouTube, it's your boy Widgie here, coming at you with some more strategy games with, of course, Age of Empires 3. And we have, as I've mentioned at the start, we are going to be unearthing and really pushing Aztec into the limelight here and showing everyone what an interesting and fun Civ and powerful Civ this can be if you know what you're doing. So we are looking at a matchup here between Kinesi and I Am Turk. Kinesi is probably one of the best Aztec players at the moment and one of the best players in the game. And I'm going to be showing you his kind of standard, if you like, FF build. So the first thing that he does is he immediately finds that trade post. If you have a trade post on your map, go and grab it with your Explorer as soon as possible. You have the starting wood to be able to do that. And then you just want to move some vills over to wood. And the next thing you're going to want to build is a community plaza. And the reason that your vills are gathering wood is to get your house down, of course. Now, if you don't know Aztec, the way that they work is the warrior priest and the community plaza is so, so crucial with this civilization. And you always want to build it first. That's kind of different with other native civs and this is going to be all based around a warrior priest boom but it's not going to be the boom where you go fertility and you you pump loads of villagers or anything like that this is going to be where we just get all our warrior priests within an age two so when we go for our transition and we get into age two we're going to be getting all of the warrior priests that we can so the first card that we're going for is going to be three villagers very sort of standard play and we're just going to be herding here. That is pretty much it. You just want to be also using your Explorer to grab Treasure Guardians, the ones that you can, like this uh, cleft here, and use them on other treasures. And you want to kind of focus those treasures so that you can start to gather up a little troop of units with your Explorer and make sure that your units deliver the final kill. That's what's really, really crucial. The reason it is, is because they get bonus XP when they kill. So I'm just going to show you that very quickly here. Okay, so this is what's so good about Aztec. You have your Eagle Scout that you start with. They have extra bonus to Treasure Guardians. He's picked up the Cleft with the ability that you can use with the, um, with the Explorer. And he's going to finish off this final gunman here. And he's going to be securing the 90 food. So that's really crucial in the early stages of the game in Aztec age one okay now ready to age up and this is so so important the minute you click age up make sure that you grab the calma cat card so this card in a nutshell it gives you one warrior priest and it enables your next age up to be twice as fast or the one that you're currently researching so we're going to be going for the age up of the messenger which is the faster age up and we want to make sure that we have the calma cat come out after the age up so that it can apply to your age three age up that makes sense so the twice as fast is going to apply to your age three age up rather than this one right here so you can see in transition he just had enough fields there he chopped some fields on wood to grab one more house for population and what he's doing is he's keeping five fields on food and every other villager is going over to the community plaza and they are going to be dancing on the warrior priest dance and this is it this is this is the warrior priest boom uh, well it's not a boom i say it's just a warrior priest spam you can call it warrior priest boom i guess this is what is happening right now and his card now is going to be five villagers so it is quite a greedy build you can see he's going very greedy he's gone three vil cow macaque and now five vil and all you need to just need to do is make sure that your vils that are gathering food just grab some of the hunts to come in further to the TC. Okay, so the next card that he's going to be getting in is the 700 wood. So this is going to be really crucial to get a marketplace, get a war hut, get a couple of houses. And it's just going to improve your defenses because you are so, so exposed right now. This is the scary bit. And this is why I really stress to you guys to work on your age one and also your age one to two. Try and get it as quickly as possible because in some matchups you will get hard rushed and maybe you might it might not be ideal to go five villager first i will touch upon that at the end of the video a few variations that you might want to try out if you are going to get hard rushed so we can see here that the 700 wood has come in and immediately when he's done with his warrior priest once he's got 10 you saw that quick transition there so the villagers went straight over to gold and to food and now we macro 
for the age three. So remember with Aztec, you don't get a 700 coin shipment, it's 600. So you need to mine 400 and then get your 1200 food to be able to age up. And you can see here, these are the buildings going down, like I mentioned, war huts, market and house. And there's a 600 coin coming straight in. Okay, so 600 coin is coming in. We're nearly getting ready to age up. We've just grabbed hunting dogs in the market. And the next card is gonna be the High Priest of Istiliton, if I've pronounced that correctly. And this one improves your War Chief greatly. It gives 50% extra HP and damage. And the HP is the major thing. You want to be able to use your War Chief to tank a lot of damage. And also, as I mentioned, the XP bonus that it gives. The, the kill bounty for your troops is greatly increased, which means that you can just sort of, you can really snowball with the amount of cards that you're getting, especially if you're going to be quite aggressive when you get into age three and you start killing troops and buildings. So it's really crucial that your war chief is 100% buffed so the age up is going to be the elder and remember this is going to be coming in a bit faster because of the cow macaque card that we got at the start and this is going to give you two noble hearts and this is the crucial age up that you need to do the two noble hearts are essentially two advanced barracks very similar to the war hut however they both do 50 damage each and they've got about three point i believe 3.3k hp so really really powerful buildings and the placement, it depends on what kind of placement you want to do. If you're up against an aggressive sieve, you want to put them in base. If you want to take more of the map and you're playing against a sieve like Spain, for example, or a turtle sieve like Dutch, you want to stick those ideally further into the map. Now the age up has happened and we do see the two noble huts coming in. And something interesting that Kinesi does is he switches his community plaza to very quickly, very briefly, to the warrior dance so that he can use his warriors here that are coming out to defend the building of the noble huts. And his first two cards as he gets in age is going to be eight villagers and the Aztec mining. Now the Aztec mining is such an amazing card and I think it's a relatively recent card with the new restructure and update with Aztec. It gives you 40% gather work rate and 20% yield, which is crucial. Yield basically means that you get 20% more gold from the gold mine itself. So you don't have to be switching gold mines as much as you think. And the reason that we want this is because the composition that Kinesi is gonna be going here is gonna be a really heavy food and gold composition. It's gonna be essentially the three knights and the three different knights is the ultimate composition in this matchup. And that is essentially the Jaguar Prowl Knight, the Arrow Knight and the Eagle Runner Knight. And all those three different types of knight units all cost food and gold. So food and gold macro is the key here. And that upgrade is definitely gonna help. So we can see here the Noble Huts have been built and yes, they do well, they do 49 damage, 3.3K HP, and you can see now Kinesi getting some equal runners to deal with the Cav. And, and he is also getting the Aztec big button, which is the Jaguar Prowl Knight button. And I've got to say, this button is crucial if you are being rushed. So if you're being rushed in age two, you can spend, I believe it's 500 food. It's either 400 or 500 food. And you get four Jaguar Prowl Knights and they can pop out. And they are super good at heavy infantry and any kind of cavalry. They have bonuses against all those types of units and they're pretty fast as well. They've got 4.75 movement speed. So definitely an underrated unit and something that I would consider also putting in your composition in age three. So you can see here, we do have the um, fertility dance has now been put on. So it can just increase the rate of these units coming out. So you can see he's just switched that briefly to give 176% increase to production and the uh, Aztec mining is coming in and the next card is going to be the knight combat so once again as I mentioned the composition it's three different types of knight units so that is just going to improve all those three and it's going to get maximum value from that card and the next card I believe that he goes is going to be knight attack as well so these two cards really really crucial for this kind of play and essentially what we want to just focus on now is you can see that Kinesi's backed up quite a bit of wood he's going to need that wood for houses you know getting pop capped here can be very very easy with Aztec so just make sure that when you are obviously macroing for food and gold that you do have a few vills on wood and you kind of balance your eco you can see it's very balanced here it's nice and balanced 
And um, unfortunately, he's going to get raided there a little bit. But the Eagle Runner Knights are going to be able to try and chase down the cav here. They do some serious damage. We can see now that more Arrow Knights are on the way. The next card is going to be the nine Jaguar Prowl Knights. So once again, a fantastic unit. And it's pretty much just unit production from here, guys. It's unit cards. It's getting your upgrades for your knights, knight units as well. And also there's these options here that you can see. You can see these options, 500 coin options that you can go for. Very, very useful as well when you are in a pinch. So guys, that is the kind of build order in a nutshell. I'm not going to go too much into detail further into the game. But basically, what you guys just need to make sure is that you just balance out your composition fairly well. The Arrow Knights are absolutely amazing at both buildings and also units as well. But try and focus on the Eagle Runner Knights with the Jaguar Prowl Knights and just try and manage it the best you can. It's okay if you wanna use units from the War Hut, such as the Coyote Runners and the Slingers, but I really recommend trying to stick to those three different unit types, the Knights, the Eagle Runner, the Arrow, and the Jaguar Prowl Knight. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. That is how you do this build order. It really just focuses on that power spike in Age 3. So let's quickly talk variations. So if you want to go onto the water first, let's say you're on a water map, you're playing against maybe quite a defensive civilization, quite a turtle sieve like Dutch, for example. What you can do is I've noticed Kinesi can actually go onto the water and open up with four fishing boats. Now, the only difference is you will not be building a trade post in age one immediately. You'll instead be building a dock immediately. Then you'll be chopping for wood for both your community plaza and also your house. So it does delay your age up. But the interesting thing is, is that you go for the three villager card first. You don't go for Kalmakak second. Instead, you just go for a quick age up and then you go three warrior priest. And the reason that you do that is because it allows you to get your 10 warrior priests a lot faster than before. It's not as greedy. And then you also still have that eco from your ships as well. And what you can do is after those three warrior priests, you can get 700 wood that can then enable you to get further fishing boats, a war hut, potentially a market as well. And then you can just roll into the fast fortress again. You can then go for your 700 gold, sorry, your 600 gold and go ahead and age up to age three like you normally do. Another interesting variation is something that I've maybe spotted is kind of a mix between both the water opening and the land opening. It's essentially what you do is you build a TP in age one, like I showed you, but instead you go for the three vil, then you go three warrior priest, you then go 700 wood, potentially 600 gold, and then cow macaque. So that is kind of a different way that you can do it. It means that you're not sat on the community plaza as long and there you won't be as open to rushes. You'll be able to get your 10 warrior priests quicker. The only downside is you won't have your five villagers. So you won't have the five vil card. So your eco will be a little bit slower, but it may be a bit more defensive against rushes. So guys, I hope you followed that. I did run through that quite quickly once again. I want to make these videos relatively short and snappy. So please feel free to replay back, have a look through it. I'll also be showing you the deck right now for both the land and the water. So just think about what I've mentioned about the variations as well. I have tried this actually on the ladder and I've been kind of 50-50 with it at the moment. It is a different play style to how I normally play. And it is quite greedy if you go for the Kinesi build 100%. It will be very greedy. So bear in mind when you are playing against rushing sieves, maybe try to play the kind of alternative version that I mentioned where you go for the three warrior priest and it helps you get your 10 warrior priests a lot quicker. So I hope that made sense. Give it a go. Let's see some Aztec on that ladder because I'm not seeing it around my elo so i really want to see it out there and you guys playing it and appreciating it if you found this helpful useful entertaining all that sort of good stuff please feel free to drop a like and of course i'll catch you in the next video or the next stream catch you later guys Bye.